fish. Hooks. What's the size of this lure? Ooh. There we go. Yes! Hold on, Frank. What's the woods, man? Stand up. Why are you There we go, look at that. G'day. When you're here, camera's ready now to lose. Up there, that's the ocean. And this tide is absolutely humping in. Just to keep it in, the boat from moving, we have to keep it in gear at the moment. And we've got the electric motor ready to go, but we're not using it just yet because we are pushing over to where the fish are on the side here. But we're just sort of ready while James gets his rigs ready. Fishing with James Moller. As they say, curls get the girls. Been ready last night. What was that? Should have been ready last night with the leader. Yeah, it had a few, let's just say, coffees. Coffees. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, I'm seeing if you're watching this. This light banter. Some some shit's about to go down. <laughs> mega dogs. Absolute we're talking mega dogs. We're, We've driven about 3,000 miles to catch them. So they better be I'm going to kill some little kid. Especially if it's under 17. Right. Ooh, ooh. Anchor on the motor guide is being hit. Juices applied. Hooks. What the size of this lure? If you notice what old mate does, and I'll explain what he's doing. He's putting it out wide to start with, right? And he gets a bit of line on the like that already, a belly already. Holds it up. So he's got lowering in his rod tip ready to go. Just bang bang every now and then. So you can just lower it down. See what my rod tip's going down? Bang, bang. Bang, bang. I've kept that line. It's out there still, in that line. I'll stay tight so the lure that knows the lure's always up. Not nose diving down. About there, you start giving it some line. Rod tip high again. Have I got that nailed? And a retrieve. And you can do that in different lines, so you don't have to go quite as wide of the bank either, you can do it shorter. Smaller knock spin, just, just keep your rod tip up. See, so now it's swinging more, it's just swinging out on you because you've got no. Going like this, oh yeah. Over the top of their nose. Yeah. Like that. And I yeah. Drop it where I need to. Yeah. And it just swings around these rocks like that. Yeah. When the tide's like this, this is better. Right tip high. Watch the line. You can see the line beautifully. Look. Just every now and just give it a knock, just to make give it some action. The belly's not taken up yet, so it's good. So I'm slowly lowering the rod tip down, see? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. I'm gonna give it some line now, so I can stay right out in that line. <gasps> Felt something then. I reckon I'm having a hit. Something had tumbled, another knock. Can't have been a bloody big flat because he would have inhaled it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Andrew the Putz Pawsey. Andrew the Putz Pawsey. I'll just drift back five. Work further into that hole. Maybe there's one up in that hole. No, before it there's a hole. I can actually see a sand hole up in that corner. I can actually see sand everywhere today. I can see it for the best I've ever seen it. Right, watch your fin. Yeah, get out of there. Watch this fin be. In that little sand hole there. Fish! Yes, good one too. Alright, yeah, don't go just put the I like, back, I hit the electric off. Like, let you go. I got him out. Yeah, I hope so. Magly brain, eh? Well done. Thank you. Very well done. Nice heavy fish. I'll take it. Yes. 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 In that sand hole. I could see that bastard. This current is not easy. That's all your skills you taught me, mate. I could never have done that without you. This is all about this. You teach a man to fish, he can feed himself. What was he? Oh, I've never worked so hard for a flathead in my life as these last three days. Feels good, eh? It's not a giant, but I tell you what, it's still a bloody quality fish. Wow. I'll get the, uh, I'll get someone to do some camera work for me. There I go, I finally got a, a Camden Haven croc. I wouldn't say it's a monster for your area though, eh, mate? No, still, still good. I had to earn it. Yeah. So I feel special. Definitely, definitely earn it. It's always nice. What a beautiful fish. Yeah. Have a look at him. Just rotate his head towards me. Yeah, no, like, like, like sideways. Yeah, look at the size of it. But he, towards the sun, bring his tail around this way, other way. Look at him. Bring the tail around in front of the camera. Beautiful fish. I wouldn't mind getting a photo if that's alright. Yeah. Anyway. Tell me what this fish means. Combination of three days intensive training by James. On a new system with a new technique, new lures in Jurassic Park. This place literally is Jurassic Park. In their terms, this is an absolute pup. They get giants here, absolute giants. And we'll be back to make sure we get one of those. We're running out of time on this trip. We've got one day to do it. I have a very, very proud and very, very happy of that effort. And you saw the process going into that capture. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to get him going. Oh, he's biting hard. I wouldn't like to not have a glove. Ready? Go, buddy. Go. Oh, look at him. Look at him. That's cool. Very cool. And there he was. He was just sitting in that little sand. Like there's a metre wide, two metres long sand groove. There's possibly more in it. Very lucky. Get in there. Same senses. Hot place, but sun hot. It's not it's different heat to us. We have just air heat. The sun. I hope the camera can see that. That's a 90 centimeter plus lay. One about 70 odd. 
So we should probably come back at 10.30 to the last light. Put the next cast a bit further in, okay? It's on the sand, they're on, they're on the sand. That's right, we'll bring it out now. But you see that rock? If you look, there's a little, like a rock one that goes over to that rock. And he was sitting just right next to that rock. That's in the sand hole, right? Drop it down. Easy. Alright, once it's on the bottom, little knocks. Dum dum. Because they snag. This floats. This glides horizontal. The leaves are alright, just needs to be trimmed. Yeah, I just broke it off. Ooh. Get the other camera ready, the heat camera down here. Yep. Ben. Nice play, right? Yes! yes. Well done, Frank. Oh. Wow, that's a better one. That's a good one. Hey, move the back. Channel. Yeah. Feed the dogs, get the dogs. Yeah. Nice one. Wow. That's the car. That's the car, mate. I said it was going to happen there and it did. Hardy hell, you're a genius. It was just like a cast in, switch, switch back. Oh. Oops. Hubby. It's actually kind of long. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Where's that lure? Just hang on a sec. Watch this. These are amazing. We're covering them in squidgy scent though. What's it called? Um, S Factor. And it's just the stinger hook got that one. The, the one earlier was the big hook at the front, but I don't know. I did it. It's a nice one. Please sell it to the camera. There we go. Uh, sweeping back past the camera. There we go. Croc dogs. Awesome. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh mate, I'd get another cast up there for you. There could be a big 90 in there, buddy. Have to grab my rod and go again. Put a little back on it. Good luck, Finn. I'm filming you. Yeah. Looks like there's a bit of sand over the top too. Yeah, there is. Over the back there. What'd you get a phone? Watch the rods around. He's having a dig in there. Yes. Got that net. Have a little fish first. Grab the net, Finn. Let's move my rod there, pause. Start doing in it. So, what happened then, everyone? This is unbelievable. The fish actually went for 10 seconds before he hooked this fish. It's not huge, but he's alright. No. Wait, Finn, just wait. He'll tell you when. Big. Maybe 80. Yeah, high 70s, mid 70s. He's going to want to try. Yeah, I'm not going too hard on him, I don't want to. What's our luck? This is the lesson to us. If, if a battery goes flat, we stop. We missed a hit. Oh, shit. He'd be mid 70s. Maybe yeah, calm, but if, it's, if that was us catching that, we'd be freaking out. Yeah, he's 80 odd. We'd be freaking out if we caught that. Like, we'd be screaming right now if that was us catching that. So he's just moved in there in the last five minutes. Yeah, maybe. I think we might have just missed him in a different angle. Has, has, has got him. Has got him. Yeah. That's why I sort of sneak on in the back there. And there he was. Long. 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 Long.
Oh, yeah. So you can stand up. Stand up. Way there we go. There we go, look at that. And the sluggo looks small in his. All the way down there. Do you want to get a measurement? Got him on that. Uh, on the stinger in the bottom, bottom of the jaw. He really wanted it, didn't he? So let's get the brake man at Fimby. That's the exact same. It is. 79, oh, a bit over. So that's the exact same length as fins. If it was in the morning, it would probably be at 7, 8. That's the exact same length as your lake entrance fish, Fimby. So you think in, in lake entrance to catch a fish like that, pause, think about it. Yeah. Pretty serious, isn't it? Yeah. But it just had like more girth. So that's, my PB is actually 77. So you beat my PB by one. So with the soap, you're getting the right, well done. Nice. Hey, let's just say that's just small beginnings, mate. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to get a bite. Yeah. That's, that's, I'm happy with that. Okay. What are the chances? It's just so frustrating. You, you don't understand how much pride I take in getting the hookups, how much work goes into that, how many batteries you go through in a day. It could be 17, 18 batteries straight work on the SD card to get a hookup. We haven't had a hookup today till that moment, till the battery went flat. So that really is a shit start. <laughs> As far as, as far as filming goes, and great for fishing. I'll get some photos for you. There we go. Yeah, no, I'll just I'll get a I'll get a photo for you. Camera. There we go. Release time. Yep. All right. When you're ready, buddy. There we go. Yeah.